Hanung News Curry. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. I'm Lindsay. Josh. And this is Woo! Today we are going to be trying Thai food. So this is my first time having Thai. I've had pad thai before, and I've had uh, banh mi before, which is like the sandwiches. But that's that's it. All right. So we're newbies. Um, we got spice level number four because from the reviews we read, they're pretty serious about their spice chart. So yeah. Here you four, go. four. We'll see how that goes. All right. I did read a review that somebody that had a level five was having tears in their eyes, so we'll see how like how spice. Four goes. We like spice, we do, but I'm a little nervous. I think I'm gonna go for the soup first. What kind of soup is this? Tom Yum Gai. Tom Yum Gai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> Let us know in the so, comments if you know how to pronounce anything that we're yes. saying. So this food, this Thai food is all from a local restaurant, and we're going to attempt to try to say the proper names for everything, but bear with us, we're newbies, so. That's good, baby. We're gonna give it a go. Tom Young Guy. Has chicken breast, mushrooms, green onions, lemongrass, kaffir, and lime juice. You can definitely taste like a lot of the, the spicy kick along with like the lime juice, the little more zesty. What is flavor. kaffir? Kaffir? Ka kaffir? Kaffir. I have no idea. Anybody know? I'll look it says up. the quaint light soup. I don't know what the quaint you means either. You wanna Google it real quick? We're gonna Google it. Google it. Google. <clears throat> Wait, am I looking up the quaint or? No. It's the quaint. Caper. I think pequaint is just like a descriptive word. Pequaint or zingy? Okay, so pequaint, yeah. Was oh, that pequante? Pe 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 I've no, never this, heard that word. The, when I Google search it, it has an E. When your description mm. has no E. Hey, I just copied it from the website. Uh huh. Just saying. <coughs> Excuse me, not choking. I'm not gonna die this time. <laughs> Alright. Okay, I edited that out last time. Edited what out? No. K for lime. You're choking on that massive piece of beef? Bulgogi? Is that what she said? <laughs> oh Alright, caper is a lime, it looks like. Type of lime. Caper is a lime, so it says caper and lime? K maybe it just is like a different lime. kind of lime? Caper juice and lime juice? Maybe, yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's good. It looks it's like really there's tomatoes good. in here too. That's not in the description, but yeah, that's I'm not in the description. So there's tomatoes in there. Also, there's the chicken. Not much chicken in there. I was oh. wondering. Oh, it's all at the bottom. There's a lot of chicken in there. <laughs> the <salt. laughs> I love the cilantro. It's really good. The yeah, onions. the cilantro and the lime. It's good. Mm. It's a little spicy, but not like in a. I can't enjoy this kind of way. <laughs> Has a very mild kick to it. Yeah. Very, not very spicy at all. Tiny. Would you say it's like tiny, kind of yeah. taste? Cit citrusy almost. Yeah, like a, a lime citrus, like it says. But yeah, like it's citrusy good. and a little zesty and uh, picante, the quaint, the quaint. We learned a new word. <laughs> and we're probably totally misspelling it. All right, that's what's okay. next? That's okay. Moving on. But next, we're gonna try curry. I've never had authentic curry before. I love curry. Indian authentic curry is freaking awesome. Um, I also love Coco's, which is uh, like a fast food curry kind of place in Japan. Like all of it. I'm a okay. Curry love holder. love is an understatement. He is so <laughs> obsessed with this place. He came from back from Japan, and he's had this like <clears throat> Coco shirt, and he's got these little like make your own curry at home kits from Coco's. Like it's good. I love curry. He's obsessed. Especially like spicy curry. Um, when I go to Coco's, I normally get like a spice level four or five. That's like comfortable. It's pretty spicy. So we'll have to see how that level four compares with this level four. Mm. All right, so let's try it. Let's give it a go. This is called uh, Hanung Noose Curry. <laughs> Hanung Noose. Please correct us if you know the proper pronunciation. 
because we're trying our best. But mm. it's uh, meat cooked with panung curry paste, coconut milk, and Thai sauce. So I'm notice... not sure like what entails Thai sauce. I'm not sure. There's uh, carrots, bell peppers. Um, looks like some spinach in here too. Definitely has like a very little kick to it. Um, you can like taste like a zingy, uh, like, I don't know, is it a lime? Kind of tastes like yeah, lime. Yeah, I think it's lime. Kind of a lime flavor. And I don't know, just the flavor that I'm not really familiar with. Mm. Or what's that like, um, what's that seasoning? The season three? Garam masala. masala. Yeah. Is, that, is that what I'm tasting or not? I don't think so. I think it's, I don't know. It's a lot thinner than like a lot of the curry that I've had before, but um, definitely has like two complementing flavors. They're definitely not competing. It's really good, like a, oh, yeah. a, a spicy, a normal spicy curry kind of flavor along with like that, that that zingy or uh, what is what is that word? Picante? Picante? Oh, yeah. Pica not picante. Our new but... vocab lesson for today. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. Good. Spice level is not too much, though. No, we got a level four, so I think maybe next time. Honestly, like maybe like a six. Six or seven. Time? Yeah, when I go to Coco's, like most people, either that I go with, either get like no no spice at all, or like a one, or some people go up to like a seven. I, I don't know. It's pretty crazy. And what do you usually do? Like a four. Sometimes a five if I'm feeling particularly. So how does that compare to this four? It was like a one in Coco's. Maybe, okay. maybe a two, but definitely probably a one. Oh, there's like a little bit of spiciness, like especially like as you keep eating, that kind of like spice after taste. But it's not super spicy at all. It's like the slow burn kind of thing. It's not like that initial kick. Mm -hmm. Just six in there. All right, so. We have a one chip challenge, Carolina Reaper Madness. So if we get to uh, 500 subs, I'll eat it on the camera. I don't know. We've had this thing for how long now? Two years. Yeah, we've had this for like two years, so it's probably super stale, but I'm sure it's still really spicy. And he has been like, this was a gift to him, right? Yep. Yeah. So he's been putting off doing it for a long time. We've had our other YouTube channel, our kids channel for a year. We thought that he should do it on there. Never happened. So since we've been talking about how much we like spicy food, I think the time has come. Time has come. <clears throat> but he he does better with spice than me, so I don't know. That's Carolina Reaper though. That's Yeah. Insane. I don't know if I can handle that. We have had some of our friends do that and it did not go well. Yeah. I had a friend named Molesky and uh, when I was out in Japan, he ate one and was moaning on my couch with his stomach ache. For real? That same night that I had that tooth problem. Yeah? That was, that was a fun night. Oh my god. <clears throat> so, like what happened? Tell the story. All right, so we were all drinking, playing some video games in my room, me and a bunch of buddies. And uh, um, I think he went to Coco's, honestly. Yeah. And he had like a, I didn't know they served, maybe it was some, he went to, no, he went to a ramen place that was very, it's known for the ramen, or mm -hmm. spice for the ramen. And he had a Carolina Reaper, came over and hang out with us. And- Like, that, like a, the actual pepper. I'm not sure, I wasn't with him. He just like mm -hmm. met up with us afterwards and he was like, on our on my couch, but you know, all of us have, of like there's like four other or like four other people, yeah, and we're all just like hanging out, playing video games, drinking, and uh, he was just like, oh my god, like my stomach hurts. I'm like, well, dude, what's going on? And uh, it was like, you know, I had a Carolina Reaper, uh, and all of us thought it was funny. Like, none of us were in a place where we could drive them anywhere, yeah. So uh, we were like, here's some water, man. Do you want water? us to call somebody? Oh no, we should give milk. We, I mean. He didn't have any milk with us, you know? Um, so, yeah, good times. But yeah, that was that was interesting. But, yeah, let's 
try that drink. Let's do that. All right. So what is this called? So this is a Thai iced tea. When I was researching, I heard like, you have to try the Thai iced tea. So I had, I had no idea what to expect. <clears throat> That's really good. It's pretty sweet. It's like, uh, very, very, it's not like overly sugary, but it's definitely it's extremely very sweet. Very sweet. It kind of tastes like those, um, you remember when Liz brought us those boba teas? Mm, the ones with like the big those. straws yeah. and those uh, balls. That was from the... Vietnamese? That was in a Thai place, was it? Yeah, it was a, like a noodle place? Pho. It was a pho place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So where does that originate? Vietnam? Google. My right, phone's really red. Ready. Yes, they're actually red. It's not from the spice, it's from the wine. The kids or the drink? What? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Alright. Uh, it has like a, has like a creamsicle, milk, and like sugary taste to it. Oh. Pho. Pho? Mm -hmm. That was spelled pho. It is spelled pho, but it's pronounced pho. Oh. I think. If I'm wrong, please correct gotcha. me in the comments, but I'm like 99% Yeah, I think you're right. Sure. I think you're right. I also went to this uh, place in Texas called uh, Pho King. Ding, it ding, was... ding. Vietnam. All right. The origins of Pho. Yeah, the, there's a Pho restaurant in uh, Texas that I went to called uh, Pho King. You know, like China King, <laughs> but it's like Pho. Good one. Yeah. It's so not yeah, a joke. It... I'm serious. I went to a place called Pho King. <laughs> You're like, haha, good one. Like, nice dad joke guy. <laughs> Where, where do dads store their jokes? Play bone. Good guess. Dada face. Ah. <laughs> He's the master of dad jokes. I'm not. I just, he is. I just find them and I share them. I'm not very creative. So yeah, it definitely tastes like that. Uh, is it boba? Boba? boba or bobo? Boba? I don't know. It's got the little... The little balls in there, and it, like the really fat straw. It tastes just like that. I don't really like those. <laughs> what? There's some balls and a really fat <laughs> straw. All right, next we're gonna try pad thai. Pad thai. So when I was doing some research, it said like you have to try pad thai. So I don't know. Is that just like an American thing? Like all Americans love pad thai, or is that like actually like a very very common dish kind of like how everyone's like oh kung, kung pao chicken has got to be like the ultimate chinese food is it really or is it just kind of like what americans yeah. think i don't know so let us know in the comments <clears throat> is that just the american version of the most common thai food or not i've had pad thai before and i really like it it's, i'm not i've good. never tried it so the description is here you try it well i read the description okay. So it's a spice level four also. I didn't really know that you could get that spicy, but fried rice noodles, bean sprouts, eggs topped with a dry roasted peanut, with dry roasted peanuts, green onions, cilantro, and a slice of lime. Definitely getting that um, peanutty taste. This is gonna sound really weird and probably, I don't know if I should say it. Uh -huh. The taste is kind of reminding me of those um, pizza Pringles. Hmm. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You taste that? It's like the hint of lime with the peanut. It's for some reason reminding me of those pizza Pringles, which like I never eat Pringles. I don't really eat chips, but it definitely has a different taste. Besides tortilla chips, it's salsa all the time. Yeah, it's definitely not spicy at all, but it kind of has that duality of flavors. Also, like the uh, curry does. Where it has like that peanutty taste, along with uh, more of like a zesty, limey cilantro kind of taste. Really yeah, good. good. Some chicken in here too. Mm. So does this taste pretty similar to the other pad thai you had? Yeah, very similar. I don't know if I like it more or less. It's, mm -hmm. it's good though. It's been a bit since I've had pad thai. Mm -hmm. When I and I've been like eating, I've eaten stuff all over, 
the pad thai and the Thai food that I've had before when, uh, when I was in uh, uh, Reno. Was it Reno? Or is it um, Tahoe? It's either Reno or Tahoe. I had Thai and it was really good. A little from the wall restaurant with some friends. Good. He travels a lot for work, so that's nice. All over the place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the fried noodles along with like the crunchy bean sprouts. It's kind of a cool, cool texture. Mm -hmm. All right, what do we got next? Um, I this I think this is our last thing. Larb noir salad. Okay, wait. There's that word again. Noir. Does that mean noir? There's no S at the end of it. Where? Oh, noir. New. No. No. La no salon. We don't know. Yeah, no. It looks like bulgogi though. Mm. Like cream oh, yeah. bulgogi. Yeah, it does. So it's a it's minced beef seasoned with Thai herb, spice, shallot, cilantro, green onions, mint leaf, chili, and lime juice. Did you drop some pad thai in there? I did. I didn't even notice I did that. Let me just eat that real quick. There you go. Well, sip of water to clear the palate. <laughs> Thank you out. <laughs> Cheers. Let's ruin that palate cleanse with a sip of this cross strain fairy nectar. Notice yeah. from our other video. We have not posted yet. <laughs> Watch one of our future videos where I uh, <laughs> review fairy nectar, a local uh, brewery called Cross Strain. Delicious, one of my favorite IPAs. Okay, give him a sneak peek of how beautiful this can is. Look at this. Isn't that so pretty? That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's like a toss-up for like that or uh, Space Dust more, my favorite. Oh, really? Yeah. Like one of Space Dust is like his favorite. Mm -hmm. yeah. Space Dust is my favorite. <clears throat> and if you like beer drinking, we just posted last Wednesday, our last Hangry Hump Day, a blindfolded beer taste test, Samuel Adams uh, variety pack. So One of them tune may... Tune in and see who won. One of them may or may not smell like cat piss. Oh, God, that was awful. It didn't taste like it, but it definitely smelled like it. It didn't taste good. It didn't taste good. Here Check I am, out. like Check trying it, it over here. <laughs> I ate some of the uh, lettuce. Just the lettuce. I don't know why I just like just added the it. Okay, so what is this called again? Lard or larb? <laughs> larb. 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 Noir. N u a e salad. All right, let's give it a try. Mm -hmm. I heard this was really good. Looks good. Definitely tasting the mint. <clears throat> yeah, it doesn't taste like your traditional like steak or beef or anything. I mean, it has those undertones, but it has the uh, the limey taste to it, the cilantro, almost kind of like uh, pico de gallo without tomatoes, like mixed with it. Probably that cilantro and onions that I'm tasting. It's a little bit spicy. Mm, I didn't get any spice. You on didn't? That. Yeah, it must be. It must have been. I think I got like a big bite of cilantro and mint leaf at the same time. Gotta mix it up a bit. It's not like the regular spicy, it's just like a very, very intense flavor. Are you getting that? Or did I just get like a Yeah, I got very some right there. Bite? It was very, uh, very cilantro-y. That one had a little bit of kick yeah. to it. Yeah, my initial bite did not have any kick at all. Let's mix it up. Yeah, that one doesn't as much. It must be that little paste that's on here that's like braised on. Hmm. Wow, it's really good. Oh, I didn't realize that was a divided tray. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anytime you have like salad with like that much meat on it, it's a good salad. Yeah. Less salad, more meat. <laughs> oh, that's really good. I like that. Mm. Really good. Yeah. It doesn't need any like salad dressing or anything. It definitely has like that kind of glaze, but like, uh, I don't know. How would you describe that? I don't 
no, I think just the herbs give it a lot of flavor. Yeah. The mint and the cilantro. Mm -hmm. And there's red onions in there too. I was definitely going into it expecting it to taste like bulgogi since that's the last thing that we just had. Yeah. There's no barbecue flavor at all to it. Um, kind of like you'd expect bulgogi. It has a little bit of spice. Very different kind of spice than uh, like most of the spices that we have, but you know, all yeah. of them seem to have like that common. I guess that maybe that's the Thai, the Thai sauce that's that spice. Could be. But yeah, it's really good. I'm noticing like a lot of lime. I don't know if that's really common with Thai food or it just happens to be like what we ordered. <laughs> all have lime in it? I don't know. Cilantro, lime, some onion. Mm -hmm. Very veggie oriented. I like it. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah I could do this a lot. Yeah, it's really good. It's made like a really good lunch. Oh yeah. Speaking of cilantro, I'm really proud of something I did today. So I hung up this um, curtain rod. Are you laughing at me? Yeah. I'm nerding out real quick. So I hung up this curtain rod and made like our own little like hanging herb garden. Super cute. I'll post a video about it. Pretty sweet. I helped a little bit. Not much. It was all her. Yeah, you know what? I'm not gonna take any credit for it. You fucking rocked. Thank you. We need more herbs though. We should have two so far. It would be very nice to have more herbs. Remember, if we're pronouncing anything wrong, let us know in the comments. <laughs> herbs. That's totally the right way to say it. I see nothing wrong here. All right, babe, what's your favorite, favorite dish? The soup, the pad thai, the salad, or the curry? Um, I think the salad, the, I'm gonna try to say this again, larb nua, nu, larb nua salad, larb salad, really good, I really like it. It's, I also feel like it's the most flavorful out mm -hmm. of everything we had. Yeah. So, but I do think if we would have um, upped the spice level, I think that might be different. I don't know, this got a lot of flavor in it. it definitely has like a little bit of that slow burn it's kick different. to it. Yeah, it's, it does have a kick. <clears throat> like, I love curry. It's such a different kind of spicy though, yeah. than what I'm used to. Yeah, it's good though, I like it. I'm gonna keep eating it. As much as I like curry, I think this is my favorite too. Um, the curry was good, don't get me wrong but um, a little more different than what I'm used to. I would definitely eat it again though. But this, this kind of shocked me. Um, okay. I was expecting something totally different and it's kind of defied expectations. It's kind of hard to describe food that you've never really had before. It really before. is, yeah. <clears throat> I think what's really shining through though is the cilantro. Mm. That's what I'm really tasting the most of. And a little the mint too. Did you hear that like there's a certain percentage of the population that tastes cilantro differently? I did. I have heard that. Yeah, like tastes like, like soap to them. Yeah. Yeah, that's so weird. Thank God I don't have that gene. <laughs> I thought I did for a while because when I like when I first started eating cilantro, like because everybody's always like, oh cilantro, cilantro, pia cajo, like it's so good. And then so like I tried cilantro and it tasted really weird to me. And I had already heard that soap thing and I was like, oh no, do I have the <laughs> The evil soap gene. Did you try it when you were pregnant? I don't remember. You'd probably be throwing it up though. <laughs> your pregnancies probably, were really probably. rough. All right. Mm. Yeah. And don't forget to uh, let us know in the comments also. I mean, we're just saying like everything. Go check it out. Go say in the comments. Let us know oh, if you want comments. us to try uh, any other kind of food. The wild thing escaped. Okay guys, well that about wraps it up. Um, yeah, so we like Thai food now. Or I like Thai food now, you've had it before. It's good. It's good. And don't forget, if you want to see Josh try this Reaper chip, Carolina Reaper chip, if we get, right now we're at like 225 subs. If we get to 400, Josh will eat this. Uh, let's make it 500. 500? <laughs> yeah. Take I've delayed it this long. Got it for Christmas okay. in 2017? 2018? Yeah, it's probably super stale. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to be able to taste oh. it, whether or not it's stale or not. It still feels pretty hard. I'm not going to crunch it, but. Kind of 
Okay. Maybe five. One chip. It says Fear the Reaper. So, 500 subs, guys. Kind of Let's spices see if you it. This. Carolina Reaper. Carol Baskin? <laughs> She's gonna try to murder me, okay? <laughs> Carol Baskin. Send him to tires. Whack them. They snacking. Carol Baskin. What's happening? So if you like this episode of Hangry Hump Day, make sure to check out our other episodes. We have, this is our third episode. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers to you. This is my robot. No. How did you do the robot? Tomorrow, Mr. Robato. Nip slip. <laughs> Wardrobe malfunction. Hey guys, welcome. So, pad, pad Thai guy, no? Pad, this is Pad Thai. That's Pad Thai. <laughs> we'll edit that out. This is... Tom Yum Chicken Soup. Tom Yum Chicken Soup. Yum. No. Tom Yum. Tom Yum Guy. And it's got chicken, chicken soup. Alright, we'll try some more. You're dripping all over the place. Piece of chicken. I think I read the wrong description. Oh crap, I did. Let's try that again. Good one. We have yet to have views. Should we do subs instead? Sure. No, very sub views. How many subs do you have right now? Two or twenty-five. Four hundred subs. We'll just say in a video. 500 subs, does. I'll eat it. Let's do it. I'm not gonna cry. You might cry. My eyes are water, it's not crying. <laughs>